Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. It is Friday, April 21st, and I wasn't going to do any more grocery shopping between now and payday next week because kind of spent quite a bit on groceries this week and kind of uh, <laughs> I might be going over budget if I do any other grocery shopping between now and payday, but I decided I picked up a few things at my work today because we have some really great sales. That's the dangers of being a cashier in a grocery store because you see stuff coming through your line and go, oh, I didn't know we had that or oh, I didn't know that was on sale. And next thing you know, you get suckered into impulse buys. Well, I mean, they're not really truly impulse buys, all of these. All of these are things that I will use. Um, a couple of them might be impulse buys and stuff on the right hand side over here, but I'll get to that in a minute. Anyway, um, right now, whole chickens are on sale at my work. Buy one, get one free. This one was $16.24 and this one was $14.76. The cheaper one is always the free item. So this $14.76 one was free. And again, remember, I do have a 10% discount on the first $150 spent every week. And I, with this purchase tonight, I have almost maxed out my weekly cap, so I'm not quite, but I was able to get my full discount. But even this, the 1624 and 1476, the 1476 chicken was free, but still the 1624 one, remember, I still have my 10% discount on top of that. So the, the, all these prices that I'm giving you that I'm saying that, that the sale items were, all of this, my discount hasn't even been applied yet. So 1676, 1624 chicken I paid for, the 1476 was free. These two black forest hams I found when I was looking at the chickens, these guys were $6.99 and both of them have $3 off, $3 off stickers. So these are $3.99 and again, that's before my staff discount. So one of these chickens is probably going to be made up in the crock pot tomorrow. The other one's going in the freezer. Both of these hams, if they're discounted, that probably means they're probably getting, you know, close to their time. They probably need to be cooked up right away or else frozen. So they're going to go directly to the freezer tonight along with one of these chickens. And then over here, I bought a package of sun-dried tomato wraps, um, only for no other reason than because they are on sale right now. I believe they are $4.99 currently. Um, yes, they're $4.99 on sale right now. And I mean, it's just simply a change from having white bread for a sandwich. I decided to just try something different, have, the, have a wrap instead of a sandwich for work. And then some Easter's candy is still on clearance. We still have some peanut butter flavored M&M's. I think these were only like one or two, one or two bags left in the clearance bin. And this was one of them. And they were, um, hang on, this, they were $5.99 with $3 off. And then all of these Skittles, they are marked down. They are probably getting close to their expiry. But they, I've had a few of these bags already. These were the impulse buys. And you can see, because they are getting close to their time. They are already marked down to $1.99 and it's 50% off of that. So each of these were $1.99 with a dollar off. And again, that's before my staff discount. So you can see here, again, the, the speckled eggs, $3 off. All the Skittles, a dollar off. The chicken, one was free. The hams, $3 off. And then my corporate discount was $5.49. And my total after tax was $32.47. There was no scene plus points earned on this. There was nothing in this order that had scene points on it to be earned. So I'm still sitting at a closing balance of 8,908 points, which means I am less than 100 points away from the $90 points value in scene plus points. I'm currently sitting at $80 in points. Just another 100 points and I'll be at $90. And at the very bottom, you can see that I have a grand total of $5.38 remaining of my weekly cap. So I have very little left that I can spend as far as, and still be able to get a discount. Um, however, it is Friday night and my, uh, dis my weekly discount begins again every Monday morning. So as long as I don't buy anything more this weekend at work, which I don't intend to, then I should be good to go. Anyway, so I guess this kind of counts as a bit of a fill-in haul. The meat is going to go straight into the freezer other than one chicken. One of those will be made up tomorrow for supper in the crock pot. And the candy will just be kind of munched on and the wraps are just simply so I can take something different for sandwiches other than white bread. But I'm going to put the meat in the freezer and the other one, the other chicken in the fridge and call it a night. I worked most of the evening tonight and I'm going to work all weekend. So just wanted to quickly film this and uh, show you what I picked up today. Hope you guys enjoyed this little haul. I know it wasn't very long, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, you know, I'm just trying to show you guys that, you know, like I know that food prices have been on the rise. Everybody has been complaining about it. And believe me, I'm well aware of it too. I have to feed my family as well. But sometimes you can find some pretty good sales. If you know your prices, watch the flyers, shop the points, 
look for those little stickers that have discounts. You know, you like this. These are this is Sobeys, but I mean, Superstore has reduced stuff too. If you really, really know your prices and watch the sales and watch for reduced stuff and capitalize on the points programs, you can do not too bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, make sure you comment below, give a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And we will see you next time. Hope you're all having a good weekend and not having to work it like I am. But we'll see you in the next video anyway. Have a great weekend, everyone.